Hey there! Welcome back to another collab video. Uh, Leslie Logan is here in my studio and we're asking and answering questions. Yeah. And today we have a question. We're also drinking a little bit of tequila. Tequila, which is, tequila talks. It's yeah. our favorite thing to do. It's really fun, yeah. I have to if say. If you're going to nerd out on Pilates, you should have some tequila. Yes. Why not? <laughs> Pilates first, then tequila. Yes, yes. always. Um, so today's question is about uh, the significance of having a handle versus, versus a having loop. a loop. This isn't really a loop, but it's made yeah. of the same stuff yeah. versus having like a loop to put your hands in on the reformer for the reformer exercises. Do you and have a preference? Do you like, I do. Um, I really love the, spe the specificity and the structure of the handle. Um, and there's really two versions that we have. Uh, this is a Grotz reformer. So there's the metal handle version with the wood. Don't and drop it on your face. Oh, don't drop it on your face. <laughs> um, never want to leave Pilates with like, you know, a black eye. It's not good. Um, or the leather on the top. Yeah. And I actually like both of these handles for different reasons. Um, and just because the nature of the reformer and the apparatus is to be supportive and, and help you and assist yeah. you with the exercises, something that is wood and firm and metal uh, is going to be much more supportive than something that lacks a shape and a structure itself. Right. Um, so, and, and you should try it yourselves because all the manufacturers make some sort of a handle that looks like this. Yeah. Usually it has, um, I think it might have kind of this sort of something as this piece and then a foam part, but it still has something that is the width of your hand that can really let you know if you're using all of your hand to, you know, yes. as evenly. And also what I think is really great about a handle is that make sure that this moves. Some oh, that's sometimes true. Sometimes they don't move. Sometimes they don't move. And when you're going from your rowing um, three and four, right from the chest or from the hips, mm -hmm. you can then just go whoop, and then yeah. go into shave and hug. You don't have to stop to or, switch it or and, turn. Yeah. And on a, That's true. On, a, on a loop, I think you can still slip, move your hands, but again, it does it. It would sort of move like, um, like, like that kind of action yeah. in the strap, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, and just for all the exercises, you know, where your hand is in the handle, they're really trying to get at the deeper muscles in the back. And so you can really, help yourself out by noticing as you do your exercises if you're holding the handle like this and this is all you know this is connected to here and this part which should be working all of the muscles of your trunk and your back is getting like a little bit of a free ride yeah. so you can really you know just make the exercise get more and more muscles activating and working to help you just by the feel of holding onto the handle well it's kind of like our feet and footwork right our feet right. and footwork you never want to just be rolling out onto the pinky side of your toes. Yeah, you want the even, you want the all the way across. Same for your hands to your back. So. Yes, and actually, I'm going to add a new wrinkle to the debate. Ooh. And I, I kind of mentioned this like as a hmm, because I thought sometimes things that happen in Pilates, you you're not sure exactly why they're happening, but it makes you just go hmm. hmm. Let's think about that. So I was having a lesson once and the reformer had this handle on it and I was doing the rowing and my teacher went to get the handle that had the metal on it because she wanted me to have more support to do the rowing, even more support than this handle. And I have to say, once she put these on, it really did feel more supportive, but I can't, I, I mean, it's the same except this part is very, very structured because it's metal and it doesn't have that play. And but, it, but it does maybe when you, maybe it's just because there is no play. So as soon as right, you, there get, is no you play. get the play out of this and then you're like in it. Yes. That's all I can And think. I have to say the feel was definitely more supportive. Maybe I have but, to play with both And, handles and that's right. actually, I had this on these handles with the softer on my reformer. But after that lesson, I got out these handles again because I was like, okay, I need to like learn what that's about. I need to feel what that feels like. So I put them back on. I've been playing with that this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. And I, I have to say, uh, sometimes people do complain about the metal and the whatever, but I, I think there's something to it. I mean, it was made like this for a reason, and I, I really do think yeah. it, it did he, provide me more he support. He did go through many different kinds of handles, and I've True. been able to experience a lot of them. Um, so 
I think that's a great, why don't you share with us what you feel when you use different handles? If you're using the loops for your hands, like how does that help you or what do you like about that more? Um, because we would love to hear from yes. you too. And you know, all the manufacturers, even if your reformer does come with like the two loops, a yeah. short one for hands and a longer one for feet perhaps. Yes. Um, I'm sure they do make a handle yeah, that you could do. also have as an option mm -hmm. so that when you, you could, I have uh, on, for that. on all, I've worked on all the brands um, here in the States and they all have, it's usually canvas. Yes. Some of them do have the leather, but it looks like this and I highly recommend it. It won't ruin your flow. Just have it hooked on the thing and just make the switch happen. Yep. It's worth the connection you're going to get. Yes. Yes. You'll be very excited yeah. just by that little change. Yeah. Well, happy handling. Yes, have a good time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you have other questions that we didn't talk about or um, specific questions based on your kind of apparatus, just let us, leave it in the comments below and we will get back to you, of course. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. So basically, I took my foot bar cover off until I got to the point where I was so annoyed when I would use it and I couldn't really use it in the same manner when it had the thick pad on it. So. I took it all off and it also had like some glue, like industrial glue, yeah, yeah. which Goo Gone is my favorite household cleaning product, by the way. Um, and they're not that. paying for this. <laughs> no, they're they not. They're not sponsoring this video, this. but if they